When you use laser measurement equipment from Ophir Photonics, you know that the equipment will measure accurately and reliably. It's also good to know that you're in expert hands when it comes to servicing your equipment, whether it's periodic recalibration or an unexpected repair. In this video, we'll walk you through the service process, from your initial request to receiving your equipment back, so that you'll know what to expect when you need your Ophir measurement instrument recalibrated or repaired. Let's start with your initial request. Ophir Photonics Group has service and calibration centers in the United States, Japan, Germany, and in Jerusalem, Israel. Although you can contact our service centers directly, it's best to contact us through your local Ophir representative. Our partners are there to help you in all stages of your work with us, including facilitating the fastest and smoothest service cycle. They'll put you in touch with the relevant service center. If you simply need to send an instrument for recalibration, or if it's a clear-cut repair issue, then you can just request an RMA, or Return Merchandise Authorization. Sometimes, though, that's not the case. If your situation is not an obvious service issue, a suitable expert from our technical support team will likely be in contact with you to discuss it on a technical level. Often, such problems can be solved remotely. In many cases, a small tweak in the usage of the instrument is enough to sort things out. Sometimes it turns out to be a technical problem that can be solved in the field, sometimes by the customer, sometimes by the Ophir distributor. Let's assume you do, in fact, need to send the equipment to Ophir. The next step is to fill in the RMA request form. Depending on where you're located, this form might be downloadable or online. Either way, it's important that you fill in the form completely with full details. This includes such information as return shipping instructions, so we ship it back to the right address after the service is done, serial number of the item or items being sent for service. This is important. Note that if it's a sensor with a missing tag so you can't see the serial number, simply connect the sensor to a meter and you'll see the serial number displayed. Details of the problem. Providing as much detail as possible about the problem up front can save significant turnaround time. We then issue an RMA number and shipping instructions if you're new with us so you'll know how and to where to send the equipment. The RMA number is your reference number. Keep it handy and refer to it in all contact with Ophir regarding this service issue. Make sure to write the RMA number and serial number on the package as well as on the shipping invoice. This helps with customs clearance. Once your package reaches us, we take over. A few things happen now. First, an incoming technical inspection, even if you only requested a recalibration. The need for thoroughness in these matters is easy to appreciate. Note that if no RMA number is found, or if the package contents are different than the original RMA, this will cause a delay until we can sort it out. Then, having inspected the equipment and therefore knowing what needs to be done, we send you a formal price quote and delivery time, even if we gave you an informal estimate earlier. You then send us your approval, in essence a purchase order or PO for the work, which we then begin. The quoted delivery time is of course from receipt of your PO. Note that if the product is under warranty and the service is at no charge, there's no need for you to send a PO. We send you a confirmation and do the work, repair, calibration, etc. It's worth noting that in some rare cases, additional items may turn up during the work. For example, it may turn out that a part needs to be replaced or similar. In such a case, we'll update you and revise the price quote and delivery time and wait for your approval. When the work is complete, we perform a final quality inspection. We then ship the repaired item back to you, per your shipping arrangement as you provided in the RMA form. As I mentioned earlier, it's important that in the RMA form, you provide your shipping instructions, carrier account number, etc., so your product's return trip to you goes smoothly. At the same time, we'll email you tracking information so you can keep track of your now serviced Ophir instrument. Included in the package with your product, you'll receive a COC, Certificate of Calibration, your invoice, 
and any replaced components if relevant. Here are a few general notes that you might find helpful. There's no need to send accessories such as power supplies or similar. We cannot be responsible for anything you added to the product, such as windows or mechanical add-ons. This process may have minor variations among our various centers. Delivery times, for example, may be different, and in some cases there may be expedite options available. Also, for US customers, we have an online calibration portal that allows you to not only submit your original RMA request online, but also track the status of open RMAs and maintain calibration information for all equipment. In summary, here's what the process looks like at a glance. Initial request, contact of your representative, RMA request, we issue an RMA or solve the problem. You ship the product to an Ophir service center. The product reaches Ophir service center, goes through an initial inspection. We issue a formal quote. You send your approval. We perform the work. We perform a final quality inspection. Ophir ships the product back to you. At Ophir, we believe very strongly that cutting-edge technology and cutting-edge customer service go hand in hand. We're constantly evolving and streamlining our service workflow so that you can focus on your work instead of worrying about the tools you use to do your work. Contact us directly or via your local Ophir representative and let us know how we can serve you.